Check this out, guys. Yep, back at the lake. A little bit of rain. Um, so, story time. About three and a half weeks ago, Brisbane, Ipswich, and the likes had some pretty major floods. And this particular lake, prior to the the rains coming, was at about 43%. Now, don't quote me on these figures. Um, it's off the top of my head stuff. So, it was extremely low, and as you know, you know we'd be metal detecting out there, way out. And um, anyway, where I live, we got 200 mil of rain per day for four days. Over the back over here, you got Mount Glorious, and the areas up there got 600 mil a day. So significant rainfall, and it all ran into this dam, and the dam above it. There's another one above it, and. Um, They've got this back down to about 90% now, but at the, its peak it was at 180%, which you can see where my car is, so all that was underwater. You can see by the dead part of the tree there, and these trees where it's dead, the brown leaves, that's where it was at. So huge, huge water. Um, and yeah, like I said, it caused some pretty devastating floods um, in the Brisbane River below it. So... Here we are, we're back, and um, what do I say, I mean we were 200 metres out there the last time we were here, it was huge, it's absolutely, like this whole inlet was dry, there was nothing there, so um, <coughs> excuse me, it's not covered, what it does allow us to do is um, take some fresh ground when I say fresh I don't know whether because I've always you know we've just followed the, the water line down as it's gotten lower and lower but um, hopefully it's territory we haven't explored before and at the end of the video too I'll show you the spillway and um, a bit of what it's like below the dam wall Campground's still closed over there. Wow. I'm blown away by it, to be honest. It's just amazing. Alright, let's get the detector and dig some holes. So I've decided to start at the swimming area here while there's nobody here. First hole. And we're in, what are we, 25th of March, 24th of March, something like that. And we had a 34 degree day yesterday, maybe 32 again today, so go figure, hey, it's madness. Just looking over at the the camping area over there, I don't know whether you can see it or not, but you can see actually see the brown scarring on the hill where it turns into green eventually. So how it was. First coin, 50 cents. Alright, swimming area done. Um, just a few sinkers, a few ring balls, a bottle cap or two. Nothing spectacular. And that 50 cent piece was the highlight. And now there's an audience over there. There's a half a nursing home and um, some ACQ water blokes having their lunch. So I'm not about entertaining an audience. So um, we're heading this way. Yep. How exciting is that? A little brass button. Size of that catfish. That's my size 10 shoe beside it. It's a big, mighty smelly old fish. Oh yes we did. I'm sitting there. The detector found it. Not me, but he's on the surface. I think it's junk. I'll guarantee it's junk, but a ring is a ring is a ring. And it's definitely junk, but I'll take it. Let's 
with a bit of a wash in the water and there's no salmon left in it and you can just clearly see the plate coming off so 100% the junk ring and follow that with a rusty old D shackle bolt there's the um, bullet tip One cent. So I'm about spent. <laughs> Rhymed. Wow. Um, yeah, I've spent a couple of hours at it, approaching three hours actually, and bugger all to show for it. So um, I'm make my way back to the car very shortly, and yeah, um, I'll go and shoot some video of the flooded river. I don't think I've ever found one of those before. That's pretty cool. Remnants of a pocket knife. I'm a fan of that. Another one cent. Mud knot. That's it, guys. The junk and the lead. That's the interesting stuff if you can call it interesting. The junk ring, I really like that. It's just because I like it. 52 cents on a bullet tip. That's it. We're out of here. I'll go and film some um, damaged river, flood damaged river. Um, I'll do some drone as well, but I'll do the drone in a different video. Cool. This is the river a couple of kilometers downstream from um, the dam. So this is the Brisbane Valley Highway Bridge here and up there a little bit is um, Twin Bridges. It's the old highway bridge here. And you can see the water's been well up here. You see the little debris up in the trees up there, there's even that on that truck there, there's that pole, I'll zoom in there, you can see, there's debris up there, pretty high, a little bit careful because all the snakes and stuff have been watched out of their habitat and looking for new homes. Pretty surreal. I might just put the drone up for a minute and just head on down that way a bit with the drone and 
see what we see. Alrighty. Alright, so this is the Colo Reach of the Brisbane River, and as you can see, she's had some water. Turned the right. Still a bit of flow. Have a look at this side. Yeah, put the drone up there. Eh? 